As a bike shop owner and a daily rider, I have always loved the lineup of Turn accessories. Turn has always made highly effective, well-designed bikes. But the accessories, in my opinion, especially the ecosystem and the modular design of the accessories is what removes the barriers that keep people from riding every day. Today, Turn launched even more cargo bike accessories and it's making my go-to everyday e-bike, the Turn HSD, even more capable and even better. Before I get into the details, I wanna give you an example of what I'm talking about with the Turn HSD using the new Clubhouse Mini and Stormbox Mini, as I need to get a box over to FedEx, and these new accessories make it so I don't have to take the big GSD cargo bike. So let me load up, get this errand done, and then we'll talk more in detail about the accessories that Turn launched today. riding a FedEx on my turn HSD and it's just so nice that I don't have to have the big cargo bike to do daily errands that maybe wouldn't fit in a bag or be stable on a front rack and so I just put a let's say medium sized box into the clubhouse mini it's nice and stable it's mostly in the clubhouse mini, so I don't have to worry about strapping it down. It's just free, just hop on the bike and go. I'm also doing part of this video today with the Insta 360 1X2. So any of those weird flyby shots of the bike are with the 360 camera. Now I'm gonna go find a park to talk to you about some new turn accessories. Whew, all right, it's like 95 degrees out today. Before I get started, I wanna give you a quick intro. If this is the first time you're visiting my YouTube channel. I'm Arlie with Bike Shop Girl, and this channel has been around for a long time for a while it was even a bike shop. With the main goal of helping you bike more and worry less. When I closed my bike shop in 2020, I had the opportunity to go work for my favorite brand to ride and sell, Turn Bicycles. So now I get to work with product marketing and design at Turn and market, design, test, really do all the cool things with my favorite brand. Our team has put together a lot of great content around the new accessories that we launched today. I made a handful of videos that you can go watch on Turn Bicycles. There's a lot of great articles and how-tos. And if you're watching this the day of launch, we're gonna be doing a Ask Me Anything or AMA on Instagram. So if you're on Instagram, go give Turn Bicycles a follow. The goal of this video, if 
you've been following, you know that sometimes you just sit down and talk as if you were a customer coming into my shop or a bike shop visiting me at a trade show. And that's the ultimate goal of this video. I personally haven't touched and felt all of the new accessories. I have spent a lot of time with the system called the Clubhouse Fort Mini. I have two young kids and it was perfect for me to test out. So I have a lot of experience with that, but our team has tested and talked about a lot of the other products that we're gonna talk about today. Let's start really high macro on the accessories that were launched today. They kind of fit into three buckets. We have the accessories that make up the Clubhouse Fort Mini, which is a Clubhouse Mini designed to fit on the back of the HSD, a Storm Box Mini, and then the Storm Shield Mini. The next set of accessories, the Dog House Mini. And this is so exciting. For so long, folks have been asking how they can safely carry a small dog on our bikes. You'll need two to three accessories for this. We have the Clubhouse Mini, and then you need the Soft Crate Mini, and then the Dog Roof Mini. The Dog Roof is optional, you know, depending on your, your dog. You will wanna leash them down. I personally haven't tested out this product, but I know folks that have and they love it. And I think this is going to be a huge success for so many people that the passengers that you wanna carry are their dogs. And now they can bring them along with them, maybe bike to the dog park, bike to the walking path, instead of getting in their car and driving. And then last but certainly not least is the weather top bag for the front racks, either the transporter or the hauler front racks. Now that we've done the overview, let's get into the details of each product and maybe notes that you should be thinking about before you purchase them. A product that is very, very important to all the things we're talking about is the duo stand, and that is our double-legged kickstand for the HSD. For anything that I'm talking about today, you really should have the duo stand on your bike. It's much more stable and allows for easy loading instead of having to load from one side and worrying about your bike tipping over. So make sure you have that duo stand kickstand. The Clubhouse Mini to me is such an important part of the HSD and passenger carrying setup. We had this huge gap of how to carry small passengers between maybe three years old and seven years old. Personally, I have a three and six year old, so this Clubhouse Mini was super important to me because I didn't have a way that I felt comfortable with carrying either of them on my HSD without constantly checking on them, making sure they were doing what they needed to do with the captain's chair and joyride bar, or I just used a Yep Maxi with my three-year-old, even though he was way over the weight limit. The Clubhouse Mini works well with the Cargo Hold 37s or the Storm Box Mini. You'll need this accessory to build off of if you want the Dog House Mini or the full Clubhouse Fort Mini. This is a key accessory for you. A few notes about the Clubhouse Mini. First off, it no longer comes with pads and bar tape. The pad, the Clubhouse Mad Pad, is available aftermarket and bar tape you can either buy from a turn dealer or any bike shop. And we're doing this because our lineup is really expanding beyond just passengers. And we wanna be able to be more efficient and not wasteful with adding in accessories that not everybody's gonna use and keep the cost low. Not throwing in these things with every single Clubhouse Mini will allow us to keep that price just a little bit lower. The last thing to mention about the Clubhouse Mini is your HSD will still stand in that vertical mode with the Clubhouse Mini attached. Personally, I'm gonna be really testing out this Clubhouse Mini for the next few months. I'm really excited what it does to expand my options for the HSD. I use my bike a lot for carrying one kid, a lot of stuff, and especially my film gear. I take the HSD in our minivan and go on location, and the HSD is such a nimble, smaller, compact cargo bike that having either the Clubhouse Mini and Stormbox or Cargo Hold 37s really just gonna expand what I can do with my bike without having to bring along a big GSD. Moving on to the Storm Shield Mini. 
My three-year-old loves this. It's like his own personal tent. We can roll up the sides. There's pockets inside to store his little trucks and snacks. And it just adds this layer of weather protection to the HSD that so many people wanted, but was only available for the GSD. So I think this is gonna help a lot of folks. One last thing to mention about the Storm Shield Mini. I haven't personally tested this, but I will. And that is, it's designed to also work with our captain's chair and joyride bars, as long as the joyride bars are in line with the captain's chair. So it needs to be a nice equal plane there. So maybe you have the cargo hold 37s and you don't need cold weather or crazy weather protection for the bottom. You can just add the storm shield to your captain's chair and joyride bar if you already have them. Last but not least, in this new passenger line of accessories is the Storm Box Mini. This to me is gonna open up so many opportunities for the HSD and e-bikes to be viewed as really trip replacement. You know, being able to quickly throw stuff in the trunk and have protection for your cargo or kids because it comes with a cargo lid mini and a kid lid mini. I think this just is going to expand what we can do with the HSD and with bikes in general because a GSD doesn't fit in everybody's life and the HSD for how compact it is it really is the normal size of a bike actually a little bit smaller depending how big your bike is and to me this is a game changer just being able to throw stuff in and not think about it not have to worry about rolling up the side panniers especially when you start thinking about the aspects of delivery or people that use their cars for quick trips because they have to carry stuff, the HSD might be the answer with the Clubhouse Mini and the Stormbox Mini. That was all I wanted to talk about for the passenger stuff, so let's talk about the Doghouse Mini. Carrying a dog on a bike is so fun. I've carried almost all my dogs either in a trailer or in a cargo bike. And it's freeing. You no longer have to drive your car to bring your dog along. And for many of us, our dogs are just as important as any other family member. So you wanna bring them with you on your adventures. And the Doghouse Mini, I think is gonna be the solution for a lot of folks. As I mentioned in the beginning, you wanna add that duo stand, which is not new. And then you want the Clubhouse Mini, the Soft Crate Mini. And then depending on your dog, you're gonna to wanna to get the dog roof mini. I've personally carried a mini schnauzer and a huge golden retriever on various bikes. If you're looking at getting your dog used to it, lots of treats, short journeys, and make it fun. Just like you would if you had a kid. We don't wanna like go on a two hour ride for the first time, make sure it's not too hot, so maybe super early in the morning. And lots of treats, make them associate goodness with their new doghouse mini. The very last thing we have to talk about today is the weather top bag. I am so excited about this bag because it's about to become my mom bag. This is a 45 liter bag for the front of your bike using either the transporter or hauler front rack. We pulled some design features from our cargo hold 37 and 52 where you can roll top it for weather proofness or you can turn it into a bucket and just throw your stuff in or turn it into a cooler or whatever. The bag also has a couple fid locks where you can close everything up, cinch it down. And for me, I've always kind of used some sort of backpack or bag on the front of my bike just because getting in beside the kids, no matter if it's a storm box, storm box mini or cargo hold pannier, their feet are in the way, their feet get stuff dirty, and I just love the idea that I can keep all the stuff I need on the front of my bike and grab it and go. So this is gonna be my mom bag, I'm so excited. And the last thing I really wanna mention about this is that it's our first time using recycled fabric. This is something our company is working diligently about of how can we make more sustainable choices when we design or outfit our bikes and accessories. And this is our first time doing it. If you got this far, you probably wanna know availability. 
We are planning on getting these into the bike shops by the end of 2021 or early 2022. I say this with an asterisk because right now, if you've tried to buy anything in the bike or outdoor industry, or really almost anything, the supply chain is running really slow. Shipping containers are getting delayed for months. And we're doing our best to get these products in a bike shop and consumer's hands before the winter hits the Northern Hemisphere. But some things are out of our control. So no, that's what we're aiming for. That's what we've planned for. We'll do our best to deliver on it. You'll be able to find below links to all of these accessories, videos that we also made explaining how to build things like the Clubhouse Fort Mini, the Doghouse and others. If you have any questions, if I missed anything, please let me know in the comments below. We will be continuing to post videos on Turn Bicycles YouTube channel, so make sure to give that a follow. If you got this far, make sure to hit like and subscribe just so you're notified of videos and likes and comments help this video get shown to more people on YouTube. So it's super important. I hate asking for it, but it's how the system works. Share it with friends and let me know if I missed anything. Until the next video, I hope you bike more and worry less and I'll see you soon.